Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover how you can include file download reporting from Google Analytics 4 in Google Data Studio. There's a previous video where you can see how to find the file download data in various forms, both in Google Analytics 4 reporting and in Data Studio. And in that video, we only covered reporting the number of events, the number of file downloads, just for that event. And you can find a link to that video in the description. But in this video, we're going to go over how you can report the actual file names of the downloads in Data Studio. So just as a review, what we did in the previous video was we created this table here. And the way we did that was we added a chart, selected the table option with the correct data source from Google Analytics 4. We found our dimension for event name and then our metric for event count. And we created a table filter for GA4 downloads. So we use the include condition for the event name and set it equal to file download. In order to report file names in Data Studio, click on configure in this left navigation here. So right now we have these events, you can see there's our file download and you want to make sure that you're collecting file downloads automatically. And the way to check that is if you click on this gear icon in the lower right corner here, click on data streams, choose your data stream, and then under enhanced measurement, you want to make sure that's enabled and you'll see the events that it automatically collects. Here we have file downloads. You can click on the gear icon to see all the ones that are enabled. And make sure you save that. And once you have that configured, go back to the configure section and click on custom definitions and then create a custom dimension and we'll call this download file name I already have a custom dimension configured for download file names but I'll just walk you through the steps here. You want to make sure the scope is for event and then for event parameter, we'll go back to our J4 documentation for automatically collected events. So if we scroll back to the top here, we can see what's displayed in this table, the event, the trigger, and the parameters. And we'll go down to our file download event. And here are our event parameters that are included with this file download event. For the event parameter for the custom dimension, what we want is the file name. You can find or type in file name and you can add a description if you like but this file name is pretty self-explanatory and if you didn't have this already then you would click save and this is our custom dimension once you have this custom dimension configured google documentation says to give it up to 48 hours before everything updates 
in Data Studio. We'll go to our Data Studio report and in the menu click on Resource, Manage Data Sources, make sure you select the data source that we're looking for so it's this one and then click on Edit. Now click on Edit Connection. So we have this selected and click on Reconnect in the top right corner there. And it shows us what's changed here. Any configuration changes and any new fields. This file extension field was one of the new dimensions, new custom dimensions that we configured. So that's why it's new. We already have our download file name included, so it won't show up under new fields here, but we'll still click on apply. So this will update the data sources, it'll update the fields from the data source so that we can use them in our data studio dashboard or report. So you can look at your list of dimensions and metrics. If we scroll down, here's our download file name and the one we just added, file extension. Click on done in the upper right corner. Close out the data sources. And now for our table, here we can create a drill down. We can do that by adding a dimension while keeping the event name dimension. And now we'll add our download file name. So once this is configured correctly, what users can do when they view this dashboard or report is click on the file download and either click on the, the down arrow to drill down or right click and drill down that way and then it'll give us the file download names. So one's a PDF and this one is supposed to be a PDF as well but as you can see the name of the file is too long so since we have added the file extension we can also include the file extension dimension in here but we just added it so it might not work right now but we can move this above the download file name and we can just test it out to see what happens right so file extension it doesn't show us any data but if we drill down again here's our download file names once Google updates then we'll be able to see the file extension and for those files it would be PDF here But for now, we can see the event counts, the number of downloads, and you can rename this event count to downloads or number of downloads. There we go. So that's how you report the file downloads, the names of the file downloads in Data Studio. So if you found this useful, please like and subscribe. And if you want more videos, if you want more content on Google Analytics and improving digital, subscribe to the channel, check out the website in the description, and we'll see you in the next episode.